you to give God praise right now. I need you to give God worship like you already have received a miracle, like you already have crossed onto the other side of what God has planned. The devil has no victory. I said he got no victory. My body may fail, my flesh may hurt, but my spirit, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, say it the Lord! Excuse me. <laughs> it's just sometimes, sometimes you're going through it. <laughs> and, and you wonder, God, I know, I know you told me to go this direction. I know you told me to do what I'm doing. <laughs> but then storms happen. <laughs> and I told the Lord years ago I would stop preaching sermons. And I would start imparting life. Phony Christianity ain't working. We go through real life stuff. And <laughs> took everything in me to come back out here. But I have an assignment. said I have an assignment. And I don't care. If I can't do it running, I will crawl to my assignment. I will inch my way to my assignment. Because some days I'm running, some days I'm crawling, some days they gotta carry me. But I'll tell you one thing, gonna give back on what God has called me to do and I feel like God told me to get back up here and let somebody know you shouldn't even be here right now you shouldn't even be where you're at but God wanted you to finish what he has started would you give God a 10 second I'm just glad I'm here praise
you're wondering, what's wrong with that dude? <laughs> I poured my heart out at the 8.30, or I'm sorry, the 9. And just talked about all that we're going through as a church, my personal life. I've been going through the storm, y'all. And I think sometimes <laughs> it messes up people's theology. Because they go, well, if God called you to do it, why are you going through it? But I believe that the storms or the moments is where we prove yes. who we really worship. Yes. Because sometimes you want to turn back, but you got to get, I'm going to say like I tell my son, you got to get the dog out. Yes. Where are my men at? Yes. Sorry, ladies, you got to get the lioness out. poured out my heart and this service can go any direction right now I'm just I talked to Pastor Torre and he's like you do whatever it's in your heart I said I got permission so I'm in order right now I wasn't sure I was gonna come back out but I poured my heart out on what we've been going through and I, I'll share it here I might show the video I don't know anything can happen I like church like that where anything can happen. I might start laying hands on people. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, we, may, we may start prophesying. We, we listen, this, listen. See, what happens is I think we get too mundane. We get too safe when God sometimes wants to interrupt the service. Come on, somebody. But I poured my heart out. Some of the stuff we've been dealing with, you know, I come to you in a season of, of battling. Haven't been here in a while. Uh, if you, you don't know who I am, I'm your crazy Latin cousin from Orange County. Como esta mi familia, Dios los bendiga. I love your pastors. He's my brother. We've known each other for years, almost 15 years now. Pastor Sarah, love what God's doing. And, and there's a global anointing God's putting on this house. Just say amen. amen. And I do want to say this before I go any further. Let's give honor to our honors due. We're thankful, Pastor Torre, Pastor Sarah, who just became the assistant pastors of the Potter's House, Dallas and Global. Nothing changes for one LA, okay? So don't be like, are they gone? They ain't going nowhere. You can't get rid of them. But there's a global anointing God's putting on this church. And I always said this, you don't get the anointing you're around, you only get the anointing that you're under. So I just wanna say, for those that call this your home, there's a global anointing that's going to come on your business, your life, your children, your goals, and your endeavors. Shout amen. But I come to you, Pastor Torre had called me and says, hey, would you come? I haven't, you know, uh, invited you in a while because I, we're in a building project right now. We took on perhaps the biggest thing we've ever done in my lifetime, where a former Walmart we got into it wasn't even for sale this is for somebody listen if you're here today you god wanted you here god wanted you here because we fighting y'all we 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 fighting okay don't worry you're gonna sit down when am i gonna sit down when, in a moment i'm wearing my high heels you should have wore tennis <laughs> or do my wife does she throws some sandals in the purse you know what i'm saying but and coming a while because we've been in this project four years ago, right before COVID, God asked me, he said, Josiah, are you willing to risk it all again? I'm not saying I, I was taking steps back, but if I'm honest, we weren't taking the steps I know we could take forward. Cruise control. <laughs> Can someone say, well, Lord, I haven't gone backwards. Yeah, but the problem is you're still not going forward. Like you should. Talk to me, real people. Come on. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, Josiah, are you willing to risk it all again? 
And I was like, oh, well, what does that mean? The Holy Spirit said, to do what I want to do here in, Southern, in, in Orange County, California. I said, yes, Lord. Little I know COVID would happen after that. Then out of COVID, it would create, as many of you know, a, a hard time economically, but it would provide commercial buildings available that would not be available under any other circumstances. So a property that's, you have Honda Center, Angel Stadium, Anaheim Convention Center, Disneyland, there's a Walmart on Catella. The Holy Spirit tells me, call them and tell them you want to buy it. It's not for sale. It's for lease. So I'm like, y'all, Lord, they're going to laugh. Like, Because we don't, Lord said, call them. So I called them. Hey, you know, I'm kind of just going around it. <laughs> and I said, so you guys willing to sell the building? We're a church. And, 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 you know, a door had closed that we thought was going to open, but it closed. And I called that out of frustration. And I think sometimes God likes to frustrate our faith. <laughs> Agitate your anointing. <laughs> And so I call it, it's going somewhere. I'm not, this is not a bunny trail. I'm giving you the whole message that I believe is going to lead to a moment of impartation. Like I was not prepared for, as you can see, something happened. <laughs> and I call it, a door closed, which led me to call this. And I just want to on record telling you, a closed door is as good as an open door if it draws you where God's calling you to go. I don't know who this is for. I'm telling you, I'm going to turn my iPad off because I, I don't even want this. This is bye, bye, bye. Stop bugging me, iPad. My notes. But a closed door is as good as an open door when it draws you closer to your destiny. So a door closed, open door opens. I call them. They say, well, let me talk to the owners. Owners say, well, we never, you know, well, what do they want to do? Negotiate, negotiate, negotiate. And they finally decide we'll do it. Never avail, not have been available for 75 years. It used to be an orange growth. <laughs> Former Walmart, five acres by Disneyland Angel State. Five acres. We took, a, took on a $20 million project. Come on, give me some faith. Don't be like, poor guy. And, okay, I, it's all making sense now. Yes, Lord. Okay, I, I see what's happening right now. I see what's happening right now. God is lifting up a generation of Davids, a generation of Davids that are both worshipers and warriors to take down modern day Goliaths. There is a there is a double portion anointing that is coming upon his sons and daughters from LA, come on somebody, to Dallas, to the East Coast, all around this world because God is taking us into greater levels of supernatural blessings where the Bible said if God told you, you wouldn't even believe it. I don't know who this is for. Somebody said today, I, I don't just want something normal today. Well, here you go. God had to, anyhow, allow it. So we get into this thing, miraculous. Churches don't even get an opportunity to even bid on these projects, but we're in escrow. They had offers of 28 million, 26 million, but they took our offer. Okay. I don't know, that's kind of big, you know? If someone gave you $8 million off, I'd clap for you, bro. I would, I would. I'd clap for you, I would. I would, amen. They just, they said, it needs to be yours. It's crazy. This is crazy. So as soon as we set off into escrow, we open around March, April, all hell starts breaking loose. Of course, right? Of course, right? Thank you. Oh, I mean, I'm talking, what is going on? Immediately after that, my body gets attacked. I break out in this, this rash all over my body. I'm not allergic to anything. As you can tell, I eat very well. <laughs> my, I break out in this rash. My face is turning like bump. If I had, I don't want to show you the pictures. You'd be, you'd be freaked freak out. My chest, my back, my arms, my, my legs. It's, it's spreading all, like just all of a sudden. 
all of a sudden, tell your neighbor, all of a sudden, I obey God and <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to today, but somebody's going to get a revelation today. Somebody's going to get a revelation today. Have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Thank you. See, the ladies are like, thank you, pastor. I like this church now. Keep playing, brother. Yeah, stay behind me. Stay behind me. Stay behind me. If you want a more polished sermon, go to the go to online and watch the nine. You know. And the scripture God took me to was Matthew 14. I'm going to summarize. I'm imparting right now. I'm imparting. Okay. Okay. And and, to, and I want. I don't know who this is for, but I just want to let you know. Watch this. We're letting go of safety. Now. Now we're anywhere. Okay. Now we're anywhere. I'm like, what page are you on? Okay. Whatever page God want me to be on. That's what page I'm on. And God took me to Matthew 14 where the Bible says that, and you can just throw it up there if you want, team, but, but he says that Jesus made the disciples get in the boat. And God began to show me that there are times God will take you places, but then there are times God will make you go into places because <laughs> I didn't call him on this one he called me anybody here God ever call you where you're like wait a minute I didn't ask you whoa 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 hold the phone here and the Bible says Jesus made him get into the boat he was like get in the boat they're like no we're good because see what had happened in context is Jesus was doing miracles he was feeding people and the disciples had gained popularity they were happy they were getting free meals at Chick-fil-a they were getting hooked up and Jesus like, no, you're getting too comfortable. Get in the boat. Yeah. Made them. Because there are sometimes, family, that God will make you step into something greater. Because he's not, he's not okay with just stagnant. He made them. Tell your neighbor, get in the boat. Because sometimes stuff, stuff has to happen. Like, Sometimes you'll, you'll be laid off. You'll be like, why? Because God said, I have to make you. Because I'm hard-headed. Anybody else hard-headed? Come on. Point to someone who's hard-headed. Yourself, yourself, yourself. Okay, she pointed. That's all right. It's all right, sis. It's all right. She's like, right here. I brought him to church. Come on. <laughs> we all hard-headed. I'm going to raise my hand. Yeah, follow me? Like, yeah. So God has to make us. Because sometimes, let's be honest, our, our propensity is to seek safety and comfort. All of us, right? Nobody here is trying to look for, you know, stretching. It's okay. It's, I get it. I get it. You know, like I wish I didn't get ass eating hot Cheetos. Not possible. Good movie, by the way. Watch it. Okay. Yeah. Feel me hot. Come on. Shout out. I like it. And so uh, he made some get in the boat. He makes them. Why does God make them? Because God is more committed to their future than their past. And I have to tell someone today, God is more interested in where you're going than where you've been. That was for someone in the back over there. Because sometimes we get more caught up on where we've been, what I've gone through. And if we're not careful as people of faith, we can articulate what we're, where we came from, but not articulate what we're made for. And God wants to give us an articulation that is better of where you're going, not just where you've been. Because, you know, sometimes people tell you all about where they've been. What had happened was, and what had happened was, and he was all, and I was all, and she was all, and I was all, and... Come on now. I don't make a bold statement, and I'm, I'm going to pray for some people. There's an impartation going to happen right now. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. We're we, we, we about to have church today. We're about to have church. But God... I'll say this, is more interested in your future than your past, okay? Now you say, well, that's a bold statement. No, 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 listen. I'm not taking away from the finished work of the cross. Jesus died on the cross, the propitiation of our sins to remove all of our past, but why? So that you could stay there? No, so you can step into something, okay? You step into something. Why? And I even, here's a, here's a second bold statement. I believe that it's easier to trust God with your past than it is your future. Come on, let's be honest. Because our past, we don't even want it. You're like, God, you could have that junk. I've been trying to get rid of it for years. 
But our future, watch this now, your future, it has equity. It has worth. It has value. Because you're like, Lord, I'll give you yesterday, but this Friday? It's Ray Ray's birthday. Come on, somebody. Real people, are there any real people in church today? Come on, somebody. This, well, this Friday coming up now, wait a minute. <laughs> Boo finally asked me out. <laughs> we coming after. Listen, the devil been fighting me. I'm coming after this thing, guys. I am coming after this thing. I didn't come up here. There's value in tomorrow. So it takes, God, it takes more effort to trust him with your future. But I believe that's what makes Christianity exciting. Because why do you go to church? Just to heal your past? Yes, in part. But at some point, it's like what Samuel said to David. How long, I'm sorry, Samuel said, the Lord said to Samuel, how long will you mourn for Saul? How long are we going to mourn for? Like, how long are we going to do this? Another year? Another year? Another year? Another year? Because he was telling Samuel, I have a David that I'm trying to install. And I believe this room is filled with Davids. And Davinas, ladies. Davinas. Davina. Davina. What's a Davina? We know that's a Latin word for divine. Okay? So come on, Davinas. So, God wants to work on your future. Tell your neighbor your future. Okay, your future. There's, there's value there. He's committed to it. So God tells the disciples, get on with your bad selves and get on this boat. I don't want to get on the boat. And so he gets on the boat, they start going, and they encounter storms. And that's where I'm at. So I'm coming to you off the battlefield right now. Pastor Ray told me, he said, I know you've been in this building project, so I didn't want to, you know, you've, you've, been, you've been grinding, but would you come? I said, I said I'm coming, but I'm telling you, you're getting me off the battlefield right now. Now, I'm going to come battle here too, but I got like in the spirit, I got like a, a cut scar over my eye. I'm bleeding right here. I got like four knives in my back. Come on, somebody. Mm. He says, I said, let's do it. I'm honored to be there always. Not that he's taking me off like I'm not building, but you know what I mean? I'm like, I'd be on, I'm coming, I'm coming hot and heavy. Like we, we fight thing after thing after thing after thing because Peter had an appointment walk on water and 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 the word I'm just gonna jump to it so I'm skipping over a bunch of points okay so just roll with me family but the word God showed me is when Peter walks on water and the Lord tells him y'all remember when he said you have little faith and on the surface you're like if walking on water is little faith your boy gonna have to get saved again because I'm like <laughs> Like, if that's little faith, like, I'm just trying to trust God with, you know, these fat grams. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, man. But, however, it doesn't mean little in the, in the sense of qu uh, uh, quantity. It means little in the sense of duration. <sighs> because Peter walked on the water for a little bit. Then he sunk and just like, you have little faith. In other words, your faith only lasts for a little bit. You have sprint, sprinter's faith. You're good for like five minutes and then oh, and you start sinking. He says, you have little faith. Because it wasn't just about Peter getting to the other side. It was about how Peter got to the other side. God wanted Peter to walk on the water to the other side somebody in this room and not just listen now because when we see the picture we think that it's nice like this stage which by the way great job remodeling this place it looks gorgeous clap because the church gets better it should get nicer right but we, i love this stage it's like glass and sometimes when we picture the 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 water we think that it was like this nice and calm and peter walked in the water no the bible said it was a storm that means it's like walking on water like, yo, 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 yo. It's can you keep walking 
Oh, somebody. See, all this is going to make sense. You know where I'm going, bro. He knows where I'm going. Can you keep walking on the miraculous while the storm is going? Because real, God's committed to your future. And he walks on water. And God showed me this. It's, it's about, it's this word, perseverance. Perse say when we say perseverance. It's can you persevere? Lasting. If you're taking notes, little faith versus lasting faith. So I came back out here. I have assignment. But all hell's been breaking loose, man. I'm talking thing after thing after thing. My body gets attacked. My house floods. And 75% of my house is gone. And, you know, I come home and a pipe burst when I went to my daughter's kindergarten graduation, which is funny. She's like, I graduated. I'm like, girl, you got a long way to go. Girl. Long, long way. <laughs> Graduate, come home. Pipe bursts, water's coming down my driveway. My whole house is flooded. My little son, David, he's four years old, went and put his rain boots on. He's like, Dad, I'm ready. I'm like, this kid's going somewhere. He's, you don't got to get ready if you stay ready. You know what I'm saying? I said, this kid's going somewhere. He's four years old. I'm ready, Dad. Meanwhile, my 14-year-old's taking videos. Whoa! You know, like, pray for this man of God. <laughs> you know, house is flooded. They ripped my whole house had to move into an Airbnb. There ain't no good ones available because y'all, all y'all took them all for summer. So I had to move the next day, which if there's one thing I hate, hate's a strong word, is moving. Oh my Lord. I mean, it's just like, I'm telling you, hell is moving forever. You're like going to move from eternity and never have a pizza party. It's like, uh, so I'm like, I got to, so imagine, imagine if someone told you, you got to move tomorrow. You're like, what? Where am I going? Had to pack all my stuff up. Point being is, I prepared this sermon. I'm still in a small Airbnb because all y'all took the good ones. On a, I slept on the couch last night. Okay? Putting my sermon together. Don't worry, me and my wife are not arguing. But I slept on the couch. I had to go buy this shirt because all my stuff got ruined. Like, what? <laughs> I'm like, ah, this is crazy. Then my son pops his kneecap out at football practice. I run on the field, pop his kneecap back in. I said, son, I got your back and your kneecap. Talk to me. Talk to me, dads. Talk to me, dads. Let's go. I'm telling you, this is it. I'm telling you, the God on his truth right now. We're persevering this thing, man. We're going to finish this assignment. I preached the first service. God is powerful. I walk off this stage. And in 25 years of preaching, I have never rolled my ankle walking off a stage. Roll my ankle, pop! Fall into Sean's arms. He's like, I thought you needed a hug. I'm like, no, I rolled my ankle, bro. Pray for me. You know what's going on? All right. It's like, I got you, Pastor. You know, no, oh, my ankle hurts. What? Roll my ankle. I, I can't even like move it laterally. I'm like, <laughs> listen. I just and I don't know if I was gonna come back out. They're like, can you? you what do you want to do? And I'm like, get the video ready. I don't know what's gonna happen. But I want to share this verse that I didn't share in the earlier service. Go to Hebrews. They got that verse. Okay, Hebrews 10:36. This. Oh Lord, I feel this thing now. Oh, devils are so going to get in trouble this morning. My, someone's going to get free. Somebody is going to get an impartation. Somebody this morning is going to get what you came to get. And you didn't come for four points and a cute story. You came for something that is much deeper. And I'm telling you, the heavens have opened. Oh, my God, I feel this thing. Hebrews 10, 36. Here's what the Bible says. Watch this now. Ooh, this is, you're not going to like this verse. Tell your neighbor you're not going to like this verse. Your flesh ain't going to like it. Your spirit will like it. Your flesh ain't going to like it. Y'all going to flesh out right now. Watch what it says. Hebrews 10. It says this. It says, what does it say? Read it together. What does it say? You need to. Oh, Lord. So that when you've done the. You will re. What?
Because you know how we go, I'm going through something, help me. This is what you're going to tell them. You need to persevere. They're going to like that word. I don't want to hear that. I want you to hear breakthrough. Tell me deliberate. No, you need to persevere. We don't want to hear that. We want to hear, when is it coming? God says you need to persevere. And I feel in this moment, God, and I came back out here to, 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 to slap the devil. I came out here to give an eviction notice to every ounce that has tried to make you give up, that has tried to make somebody turn around, that has tried to make someone give up on the promise of God. I come to declare there is a perseverance anointing that is going to come on somebody's life, on somebody's mind, on somebody's child, on somebody's dream. And I'm telling you, we're going to tell the devil devil we ain't oh god we ain't stepping back we ain't going backwards we gonna go forward we are gonna persevere until we see what you promise uh, i want you to give god a 10 second praise 10 Give God a perseverance worship. Give God a perseverance worship. You shouldn't even be here right now. You should be back at the dope man's house. You should be back with your ex. You should be back in the hospital, back on drugs. But somebody came that is persevering. And I came to tell you, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Because the will of God, you shall receive what he promised. Thank you. Thank you. You're good. Stay where? Stay. Sean said, if I need a hug, I'm good. I took my ankle, bro. No, I'm just checking. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Listen, listen, listen. I don't know who I'm up here for. I'm here for somebody, but I know I'm here for this house. I know I'm here. I'm fighting the spirit for this house. I'm fighting the spirit right now. Father, I pray for that mom that isn't going to give up. I pray right now, Father, for that person that feels called by God to persevere. They're going through hell and high water, storm after storm after storm. But God, you got them in the palm of your hand. You shall see it. Oh, God. I know some of you are thinking, that's not safe. Man, we're beyond that now. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. I got the prayers right now of the church mom right now. Church mom is praying for me, so I'm covered by the blood right now. Because, see, the devil's gone. He's going to lose. Because, listen to me. My kids prayed for me when I had that sickness on my body. And the devil messed up. Because since then it disappeared and it hasn't come back but the devil messed up you want to know how because now my kids know god is a healer he healed my daddy you messed up devil you messed up devil because the bible says the thief will have to pay back seven times I declare a seven times anointing, a sevenfold blessing, a seven time return for somebody that's been persevering year after year after month after month. Oh God. I'm, I came to talk to the people that have been going through something. If your life is too pretty, God bless you, go back and check your makeup. I'm talking to the real ones this morning. I'm talking to the ones that were like, I don't even know where I, how, if I'm gonna make it. You're like me, we can't even, we came in, you're walking, but I'm telling you what, God is gonna give a seven time blessing. I'm gonna hold on to what he promised. I'm gonna hold on to what he promised. Oh God. Help me, Lord. My brother right here, you, you're wearing, you, you, got, you got like a, floor, uh, a flower shirt. Yeah, come, 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 come. Stand right here in the middle. In the name of Jesus. Come right here, bro. Just lift your hands towards heaven right there. Everybody stretch your hands. What's your name, my friend? Gabriel. Oh, wow. What a good name, Gabriel. Here goes Gabriel. 
Watch this. This kind of comes strong. Just close your eyes. Not that closing your eyes makes you more holy. It's just sometimes that you focus on God and the words that I'm saying. Because if you're like me, I get easily distracted. I'll be like, squirrel, and I turn around. <laughs> just close your eyes. Watch this. Here it comes, Gabriel. It's going to come heavy on you. It's going to come heavy on you. I knew I had to come back in this service. Pastor Steph was like, Pastor, if it's in you, you go ahead. I said, okay, woman of God, we're going to do this thing. Gabriel, here it comes. The Lord says yes. One, two, three, bam, right there, Father. Boom. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Receive it, Gabriel. Let him lay in it. Let him lay in it. Lay right there, Gabriel. God's doing surgery right now on your heart. I declare a perseverance anointing to come inside of Gabriel's mind, his soul, and all that he is, Father, in Jesus' name. Somebody shout amen. If you're new to church, you'll be like, why did he fall? Why did he fall? Why did he fall? See, sometimes when a, when, when a stronger power hits a weaker power, the weaker power goes down. Okay. Well, you don't have to fall. No, you don't have to fall. Some people, when God, how many know if God touches you, something's going to happen it's like it's like saying sticking your finger in the socket and nothing happening then you didn't touch electricity that don't work but if you touch electricity how many are you gonna feel something so i'm leery if you will say I, I i don't feel nothing if it wasn't god because if god touches you if god touches you you're gonna cry you're gonna laugh you're gonna fall you're gonna shout you're gonna run something's good because we're talking about god shout amen if you believe it come on somebody oh lord oh lord Receive that, Gabriel. Okay, I got to say this next piece. When Jesus appeared in the storm, you want to know what they, who they thought Jesus was? They thought he was a ghost. It's a ghost! Because when hard times hit, sometimes we lose our faith. People start turning to crystals. Ooh, here we go. We're going real church now, I told you. It's real church now. You know, they turn to their crystals. Well, I got this one crystal that says gets all the bad energy out of the house. <laughs> they turn to horrible scope. You heard me right, horrible. You know, what are, what, are you a Capricorn, Gemini? I'm a Christian. I'm a child of God. I, I'm a son of God. I, I'm called. I'm anointed. I, I, come on, somebody. What are, your, what are your lucky days? I don't have no lucky days. This is the day the Lord has made. Every day is a day of purpose and power. Shout if you believe it! Hey! I ain't losing my faith when the storm comes. It's a ghost. It's La Llorona. La Llorona is a Latin thing they believe anyway. It's La Llorona. Bloody Mary. You know, come on. No. Because when the storm comes, we find out who you really are. Is it just karaoke or is it truly worship? <laughs> is, is it, do you, do you really worship? And I'm telling you today, I want to pray a perseverance anointing for some people that have been battling. I came back out here with the one foot I have good right now. And I'm going to pray a perseverance anointing. My friend right here. Yeah, come, come, come. Stand right here in the middle. Come, come. Yeah, come, come, bro. Yeah, come on. Clap for my friend right here. Yeah, just stand right here. What's your name, my friend? Say it again. Benjamin. Man, I can, I'm picking some good names today. Benjamin, take a step forward. You know the Benjamites... Check this out, Benjamin. The Benjamites were ambidextrous. They were able to fight with both hands. Yeah. And the Benjamites were the ones who delivered Israel because the enemy underestimated their other hand. Benjamin is coming strong on you right now, my friend. Close your eyes, lift your hands. Watch this. Pray for Benjamin right now. Father. I declare a perseverance anointing that has come on his life. You are ambidextrous, Benjamin, in the spirit. 
the Lord is going to help you fight with both hands. There is going to be a spiritual and a material blessing on your life. Where it's going to come in two dual dimensions. My Lord, I feel the, a dual dimension anointing. That God is going to use you to restore that godly men are not just broke men, are not just weak men, but godly men are blessed men, are powerful men in business, in, in, in entertainment. There are men that are ambidextrous, Lord. I don't know who this else is for, but somebody else in this room. I don't know. You need, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my Lord. Ambidextrous anointing. One, two, three. Bam! On Benjamin's life, Lord. Never the same. 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 Look at me, Benjamin. You're going to never be the same. After today, God is going to visit you in your dreams. He's going to visit you in your sleep because God wouldn't let you get away from him even when a devil showed up in your house and tried to torment you and try to visit you and I cancel that demonic thing that has been you felt a darkness it's been in a room and I cancel it in Jesus name and you will now feel the peace of God Benjamin Does this make sense? Does this make sense? I never met you. There's a person. What you? I need peace. That's what you just said. How would I know that? I wouldn't. God heard you, bro. God heard you, bro. Yeah. Sean, come here, come here. Sean, run. I want you to pray, pray for, for Benjamin. Uh, you need to connect with some brothers in this church, Benjamin. You got friends, but there's just some spiritual friends you need. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. This isn't a thus saith the Lord. I got to be very careful. But think about having a Bible study in your house. Just think about it. Pray about it. Get in a few little Bible study at your house. Invite the presence of God there. Because God is going to bless you like you're going to be a testimony. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Just pray for him. Would you pray for him real quick? Just receive that, Benjamin. Come on, somebody. Clap because God's speaking to people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Man. Pastor Steph, I think I'm going to start rolling my ankle more during services. <laughs> God moving up in here. No, I don't want to roll my ankle. My wife's like, what happened? Yeah, I know. She's like, are you okay? I said, I think so. I'll let you know later. I have to move out of my Airbnb after the service, actually. But I'm not joking. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, y'all. We fighting. But I tell you what, I'm scrappy in the spirit. Any scrappy people in this room? You'll be like, I'll take all ten of y'all. I need you to fight in the spirit now. I need, I need some men, some women. You'd be like, take off my earrings right now, devil. You would. come on, somebody. This ain't hype. This is Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Oh. Perseverance and honor. God help me. I know there's a lot. There's this packed out here. If you're watching online, we pray blessing over you, online fam. Thank you, Jesus. It's packed out in here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me get one of the, is one of the worship singers up here? Let me get one of the singers. Okay, yeah, 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 come, come on up. Yeah, someone, you know, give me one of the worship leaders that can lead a song, because we, we, I feel like we're gonna flow right now. Like this might not even be like a rehearse one, this might be a flow. Thank you, Jesus, okay. Hallelujah. Okay, there's somebody in this room Okay, thank you, Lord. I just, I'm sensing a, a right pain, right ear, kind of neck. Who are you? Come, come, come. Who is it? Who is it? Come, come. Right, right. Yeah, come, come, come. Yeah, come. Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything weird. I'm not going to spit on you. Yeah. 
However, the 4D section is the front row, just so you know. Right here, two? Okay, two. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, three. Look at this. We're, we're in it. 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 Four. Okay, God bless you. God bless you. Wow. Wow. Five. Come on up, bro. Okay. I feel like there's... Let me just pray for some people, okay? If you're like, what are we doing right now? We're just doing what the Bible says. Pray for the sick that they may recover. That's what the Bible says. The Bible tells us. What, what's your name right here? Nicole, step forward, Nicole. Don't worry, I'm not gonna, don't worry. I'm not gonna throw my jacket on you. I'm not even wearing a jacket. It's total loss. It's, they had to get rid of it, take a picture, anyway. Nicole, just put your hands like that. Thank you, just, just close your eyes, Nicole. Here it comes on you. Nicole, wow, okay. You are not cursed. You are not cursed. Oh, wow, okay, okay. You are not cursed. You are not being punished. Oh, Lord Jesus, yeah. Thank you. Nicole, God wants nothing but healing and good. It is true that the sins of the father's father is for a thousand generations. That's what the Bible says. That it's, it's, it's transgression. But let me tell you what else the Bible says. That Jesus is the curse breaker. There have been demonic forces entrenched in your family lineage, Nicole. But I declare and decree that Jesus is going to break that right now. You will be the curse breaker because of Jesus. Nicole, God is going to heal your ear, but it's bigger than your ear. It's for your family. There's a sister that you're praying for. There's someone in your family that they don't say they believe in God. Well, they're going to believe in God, Nicole, because of what God's doing for you. Because of what God's doing for you. The Bible says if there are any sick among you, lay hands on them that they may recover. So, Father in heaven, I place my hand on her right ear, and I pray, God, healing over Nicole from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet let her feel the love of god the power of god let her feel the virtue from heaven that she will never again have this pain this sickness but she will be a curse breaker father bam in jesus name god hallelujah amen and amen somebody give god praise oh jesus thank you lord who else came for an ear? Step forward. Does this make sense, Nicole? That makes sense? Okay. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Have you been baptized, Nicole? Okay. Here? No? I was baptized when I was a baby. Um, then I got baptized as my decision. I don't know your whole story, but consider just like, Lord, I want to go all in for you again. There's just, I feel in your life that God is like, is a new chapter that God wants to do fresh for you. In Jesus' name. Does that make sense? God bless you, Nicole. Come on, somebody. Amen. Everybody come forward that came for the right ear. Come forward, come forward, come forward. Amen. Just put your hands just like that. Father in heaven, step as, as close as you can forward so I can pray for you. Lord, I pray right now. Bam. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Boom. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There it is right there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Boom. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come a little closer over here. Thank you, Father. Boom. Right there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Make sure we have some catchers because I can't right now. Come on, somebody. Take a step forward, my man here in the New York hat. Bam. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God, touch his life, Father. Let him hear you again, God. Let him hear you again. Who else? Who else? Did I miss anybody? Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bam. Right there. God, heal. Thank you, Jesus, over her life in Jesus' name. Come over here on this side. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Put your hands up right there, Father. Bless her, Lord. Healing God. Never the same. Never the same. God loves you so much. Oh, my goodness. God loves you so much. God loves you so much. He loves you so much. If you knew, if you knew, if you knew, if you knew that all those words that person said that tried to tear you down, God says all of them were false. They were a lie from the pit of hell. God loves you. Thank you, God, for her life. Thank you, Jesus. Bless her, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, somebody. Give God praise. Bring the chair closer. 
Am I okay right here, camera team? Okay. I'm just gonna go a few more minutes. A few more minutes. Is this all right? Okay. I wouldn't stop if you said no. Okay. Listen. I want to pray a perseverance anointing. Because I don't believe you've done anything great in life or for God if you haven't ever wanted to give up. Yeah. Yeah, that's real talk. That's real talk. You've never done anything unless you're like, why am I doing this? my house, my kids, me, my ankle, my pet's heads are falling off. That's a joke, a movie, you don't understand. But I know what God wants to do. Okay, I don't know how long this will go, but I'm going to do my best. Is I want to pray for people that need a perseverance anointing. The reason Peter walked on water is because he obeyed the word. And when you obey God's word, an anointing comes on your life. The anointing is an oil. The oil. What's the anointing? You're like, I heard of anointing. I got a few friends. The anointing is the supernatural empowerment of God. But it's like oil, the Bible says. Why did Peter walk on water? Ask me why. Because if you ever have water and you put oil what happens to the oil? What happens to the oil? Does it sink? It sits on top of the water. You're going to sit on top of the water because you have an anointing on your life and you're obeying God's word. You won't sink in Jesus' name. So I'm going to pray. And like you're talking, you're going through it, okay? Don't be like up here, be like, well, I had a headache like two weeks ago. Take Tylenol. I'm talking about you're like, Pastor, I'm going through hell and high water. You're like, you're like that, remember that Forrest Gump when he's like, it's raining up ways, sideways. Remember that? He's like in every direction, you know? And you're like, I'm going through it. Like you're going through it that if I went, you know how they name different hurricanes like El Nino and Hurricane this, like your name would be there, Hurricane Josiah. I want to pray for you because there's something great God wants to do with your future. Can I do that? So here's what we're going to do, okay? Because I'm, 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 we're fighting. They're gonna, I'm literally going to leave it all off on the field. They're going to carry me out here into my car. He's going to drive me home and you're going to help me move too? Okay, thanks, bro. <laughs> Thank God for armor bearers. Amen. We're going to find out if you're a real one later. Okay? <laughs> oh, somebody. Okay. So, uh, we're in this thing, y'all. The devil's going to have to pay back seven times. Seven times. Ooh, seven times. Is there any exit and announcements we need to make, Pastor? Because I, I don't know how long this is going to be. Okay, all right. So I'll do one last prayer, but if you're like, I gotta go because something, maybe a doctor's appointment, I don't know. We, we res we're respectful of you, you know. I'm not Pharaoh. I do let God's people go, okay? <laughs> you can totally, but if you can stay around, let's, let's keep the faith in the room and let's pray for each other, okay? And, uh, and do all that. We're gonna pray, but here's the last thing I'm gonna say before I pray. I uttered these words from my mouth when all hell was breaking loose. Someone say perseverance. Tell your neighbor you need to persevere. Tell, Tell your friends that this week. But I said these words. I said, when everything started, I, I said this. I go, I said, ooh, Lord, the devil is mad. That's what I said. And the Holy Spirit went like this. Don't say that. I said, what? He said, don't say that. And the Lord told me, the, Holy, the devil's not mad. The devil's afraid. I don't know who that's for because we give too much credit to the devil oh he's mad Ooh, no the Lord said the devil's not mad he's afraid he knows what he put in you he knows what's in front of you and what is gonna come out of you in this season what glory will be given to God because of your life I'm gonna pray a perseverance anointing and if that's you you're going through that and you're like 
I need this word. We're going to figure this out as much as we can. We'll make room to the side, the left. God, listen, God is at your seat just as much as up here. But sometimes we need to do something in the physical to represent something spiritual. So all I'm saying is we're in this moment. It's like, it's like worship. You sing with your physical mouth to represent a spiritual worship. This altar call moment is exactly that. We're going to say that up here, this altar is an altar of sacrifice of God. I give this to you. And we're going we're gonna to say that if you're going through that, I want to pray for you. Again, I'm not going to do anything weird. I'm just going to pray for you. We're going to repeat a prayer. We're going to sing something, worship team. And I believe the power of God is going to fall in this house. And I'm telling you, an impartation is going to happen for the glory. There's somebody, God, I'm on assignment, y'all. So here we go. If that's you. When I count to three, I want you to come up as best as you can, and we're going to pray for you, okay? Here we go. Ready one, ready two, ready three. Come on out. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Come on. Let's sing something. 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 Oh, my. Even if you only get into your, the aisle way, that's fine. God knows your heart. Come to the left over here, to the right. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Let's, let's sing it like this. Let's sing it like this. Say like the watch this. When came away. Say, I'm gonna persevere. I'm gonna persevere. Let's change it. When came away. Blue. I'm gonna. I'm gonna persevere. We make. We got a new hit. Come on. Lift your hands and sing it before I pray for you. I'm gonna. Use your voice. Worship him in the aisleway. Worship him in your seat. Worship him to the right and to the left. I'm gonna persevere. I'm gonna persevere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna persevere. I'm gonna, I'm gonna persevere. Sing it. I'm gonna persevere. Let's just for the next 30 seconds. Come on. I'm gonna purse I'm gonna purse I'm gonna purse I'm gonna purse Not giving up. Not giving up. Not turning back. I'm not turning back. I'm not turning back. You ain't turning back. Rain came. The wind blew. Blow. Okay, just look at me really quick. Great job, worship team. You guys are the best. Don't tell my worship team. They're good too. I love them. But listen, okay, here's what I felt in the spirit. And please receive this as an encouragement, okay? I'm only here to exhort and to build up. Please know that. And I know the devil don't want me here. <laughs> okay. What I felt and sensed in the spirit was that there's some that need to, are going to need to break those crystals. God cannot bless you because you're putting your trust in a false image, an idol, in a worship. I don't know. I love you. Listen, I love you. I love you. I love you. Just bow your heads all across this room. I feel a holy moment, right? Oh man, there's a consecration coming. Yeah. 
The Lord is asking you for that to be broken. You need to throw it away. You need to take a hammer to it. Because that won't save you. These crystals, these evil eyes, look at, look, look, put it on the altar. Oh my gosh. Oh Lord. I just feel there might be some other people in the throat. Uh, go ahead. I'm just, we're just in the house. I told you this can go anywhere right now. Go ahead. Oh, Lord, we're in it now. Even if you were given a, a bracelet or a necklace from an ex, you have, a, you have a, a soul tie the Lord wants to break. Oh, Lord Jesus, we're in it. Oh, my Lord. There's, there's, the, oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. The Lord says, break it. Break the soul tie. Because it's keeping you connected to your past when God's trying to move you forward. Oh, Lord Jesus. Tarot cards, palm reading, break it all in the name of Jesus. There's freedom in the house. Oh, he, usually when this stuff happens, that means healing's coming. That, mean, that means healing's coming. That means miracles are, are right on, on the backside of this thing. Oh, my Lord. If there's anybody else, you just want to throw it at the altar. We're going to throw it. We're going to crush it. We're going to break it. This is a holy place now. Look at Here they come. Boom. Right there. Look at that. Uh, you want to throw a pipe? Go ahead. Throw it. Throw it. Look at that. Bang. Bang. Look at that. Look. Here they come. Beads. Go ahead. Oh, my Lord. I feel like we're in a book. I feel like we're, we're in the revival Old Testament stuff right here. We're breaking Asherah poles. Come on, Gideon. Come on, Gideon. Look, 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 look. Hey! Thank you, Jesus. If there anybody else, I, listen, I'm not, if, I feel like you're pressuring people, Pastor. No, no, listen. When I was unsaved, I pressured people. Here, smoke this. Now, uh, -uh. I'm pressured. What I'm doing is giving people an opportunity to respond to God. If that's you. You can, you can go ahead. Look at bang, bang. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Who, who threw these things up here? Who, who was it? Was it her? Was it her? Okay, give me, give me, uh, anybody else? Feel free to come. Okay, make your way. Raise your hand at me if you want to throw something at this altar. Look at, see God's healing people over there. What's your name? Alicia, Alicia. Anicia, put your hands just like this. Anicia, here it comes. Here it comes. Heavy. Soul ties are going to be broken, Anicia. Yeah, thank you. Anicia, this today is your day of consecration, sanctification, and deliverance in Jesus name God loves you you're forgiven you're forgiven Anisha you're forgiven and get ready for the Spirit of God to fill your life your mind your home Anisha I don't normally say this but God says gonna work it all out your future spouse your home your kids like God's gonna give you that dream you really wanted that dream you really wanted Anisha because you honored him God, you honored him. So, Father, bless her in that form, God, like she will never, ever doubt that it came from you, Heavenly Father, because you saw her sacrifice in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Someone clap for my friend, Anisia. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Just put your hands out just like this, like you're going to receive something in your hand. This is an important part because the Bible says you got to come to him to receive let's just close your eyes again not that closing your eyes makes you any more holy but I want you to repeat this prayer after me say Lord so glad I came to your house today hmm. Hmm. I now realize through your word That you are committed to making me into the person you called me to be. Mm, there it is. Mm. 
Say this, Lord, and I trust you with my tomorrow. Say, and that's why I come to you. To get insight, direction for my tomorrow. Thank you for healing yesterday, but now creating my future. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. There it is. Receive it. Receive it. Say, forgive me, Lord. For the moments I have not invited you into my decision making. When I put my trust in other things when they should have been in you. That when the storm comes, when the wind blows, when the waves crash, I'm going to look to you, Jesus. Say this. I will persevere. I will have lasting faith. I will do the will of God to see what you have promised. Wow. There it is. Ooh, Lord, thank you. Just sit in that moment, sit in that moment, sit in that moment, sit in that moment. There it is, there it is, there it is. Thank you, Jesus. Just a few more minutes and I'll be out of here. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There it is. Thank you, Jesus. There's a reason, there's a reason, there's a reason. A piano player, can you raise the volume of your piano? I want to take 30 seconds and I just want you to listen because I talked about listening earlier. Prayer is not just speaking, it's listening. Raise the volume a little higher, a little higher. We're going to take 30 seconds. Don't say anything. Close your eyes. Let the Holy Spirit speak to you. Here we go. Ready? One, 30 seconds. Close your eyes. Watch what's going to happen. Ready? One, ready? Two, ready? Three. Go for it, my brother. Play. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. My friend in the, you're wearing a blue shirt right there, straight right there. Yeah, you right there. Yeah, just put your hands just like that. What's your name, bro? Say it nice and loud. Adanian, put your hands like that. Everybody stretch your hands towards him real quick. Watch it. Look at this. You got the whole church praying for you. There's someone in your family that is an intercessor prayer. There's someone in your family that has stood in the gap. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. But that mantle is going to pass to you, my friend. You're going to be the rock in your family of faith. And that's why the enemies try to discourage you. Because if he can get you... He gets everybody else. But Lord, we declare a Joseph anointing because he comes out, his whole family is going to be saved. Yeah. 
Thank you, Lord, for a legacy of faith you're going to put in his family. A new legacy of faith in your family, my friend. A new legacy of faith in your family. Thank you, Jesus. A new legacy of faith, Lord, that now it'll be Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless you, my friend. Right over here. Right right here. Yeah. Right, yeah. My man right here says R&B. R&B. Yeah. Come forward a little bit. Yeah. Let me pray for you. I like R&B only. Just put your hands just like that. Everybody stretch your hands forward. What's your name, my friend? Jordan. Jordan. It's a great name. Put your hands like that. Here comes Jordan. Jordan, I was raised in a home of domestic violence. I saw my dad do things to my mom, say things. A lot of strongholds I had to break. Just close your eyes. The Lord is going to be your heavenly father, Jordan. Yeah. There are like things that happen in your life like Moses, burning bush in moments. Like, God gives you a lot of signs, Jordan. He gives you a lot of signs, my friend. Yeah, a lot of signs. Yeah, wow, wow. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Father, we pray for Jordan right now. Everybody stretch your hands towards Jordan. And Jordan, that's why the, the enemy fights you. There is a prophetic gift on your life, Jordan. It's a word of knowledge. That's why your friends call you for your advice. That's why, that's why you're, you're like the go-to. You're the go-to. You're the go-to. You're the go-to. But now God's going to show you what he put in you. What he put in you. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Yeah, yeah. God's going to touch that, that part of your life. And it's going to go from not just, you know, a word here, a word there. But, yeah, to disciple people to pour into people kings are going to call you for advice people that are in other like positions and all of that and yeah that's why that's why you get that that the, the yeah go to bed with a notepad next to you because god's going to give you visions my friend for people you got and don't and he's going to give you a boldness thank you god that's the thing God's called you to step into what he made you for. Step into what he made you for. Step into what he made you for. Step into what he made you for, Jordan. Because you're his. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, somebody. Shout amen. I love you, Jordan. Bless you, my friend. God bless you, family. Well, I just believe and know that that word ministered to you as they often always do. Remember to subscribe so that you can continue to experience this rich. We'll send you a reminder. If you want to sow into this ministry, we are reaching people, as you know, all around the world. And we need your help and your support to not just bless people spiritually, but practically in all the ways that we do. The giving instructions are on the screen. Sow into this and may the Lord bless you abundantly in every way. God bless you. We'll see you next week.